I've talked about a few different types of tools and, uh, and given a bit, of, a bit of an example uh, about it. Obviously, I've, I've said Storyline is a very, very good tool. There are other very good tools out there, like Google really Captivate is a very good tool as well. Price will dictate what offering tool you choose. It would be lovely to to sit down and think, oh, okay, I'm going to get 10 licenses of Storyline, it's going to be brilliant, and then you're the, the next next one up, your line manager, and then says you, you've actually got the budget to buy one quarter of one license of storyline for the year. You also need to fit it, you also need to fit it in with, within your budget. The likes of Snap and other, um, another rapid, uh, rapid offering tools like that are very, very good though for, for the sort of for the lower price point. Skill level in the house, um, for exactly the same reason, we're going to buy 10 licenses of storyline, but all of all of our developers and all of our designers only use Captivate. Obviously, you're going to use Captivate, or same goes with the likes of Composica or, uh, or Snap as well. Location uh, is a big one, and something we've run into with other with, with clients throughout the years. It's something that the number one requirement of the tool is it's got to be collaborative. We, we can't be sending you know, multiple versions of things across email, it would just get very confusing and very difficult to manage. If, ge if geographical location is a big issue, then uh, one, of the old, one of the online tools, the likes of uh, Composica or the likes of Smart Builders, another one, is, it are definitely viable options for you. Your content as well uh, should play quite a big part. If you already have all of your content in PowerPoint and you're looking to move it over, you're probably going to want to save yourself some time and use a tool that has the ability that either uses PowerPoint directly or can just import all of your content. You'd be happy to know that all the examples we've used today and most other examples do give you that by default. They do have the ability to at least get your content in a very static state into your uh, into your e-learning course. Just cuts cuts down a lot on the copy and pasting uh, of content across. Should also be said that as I said at the very start, no one tool fits all. If you do have multiple requirements, certain tools might be brilliant at certain things and fall down a little bit on, on the more bespoke requirements. You can use multiple tools to do the same job. I mean, we, we for example, uh, just outside of, an authoring of the authoring tool side of things, is if we're doing video editing or anything like that, you always do it outside your, your course before you bring it in. You'll use you know, third-party software for that. Same goes for e-learning tools. You can design up interactivity and e-learning courses in that. But as long as you publish it out as something the next authoring tool can read, then you do have that as a mechanism. And finally, as I was saying there, uh, no one's well, no one says it's all, but uh, you do have a very good selection these days. We've got a much better selection uh, at the minute than we ever have before, just with the advent of the likes of Storyline and the ability to publish it to HTML5. It's opened up a whole new, whole new area.